guys, I hope you're all well. I'm back with another five must-haves series, and today I'm gonna to be talking about baby snacks. Whenever I do a what my children eat in a day video, I always get so many questions on what snacks would you recommend, and what breakfasts, and what meals, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do quite a few videos like this. Snacks, like my go-to ones that I will just grab to take out in our changing bag for a day out, and I'll do my go-to breakfasts, lunches, and dinners as well. And um, yeah, today's gonna to be my go-to baby snacks. So Jensen is 10 months old, nearly 11 months old, and some of these are things that he's had since the beginning of weaning and some of them are a bit more recent. They're things that even Jasper likes and he's three so they're quite a good varied age range. Okay so number one are these Kiddylicious Blueberry Wafers. They come in different flavours. They come in banana and carrot I think as well and you can get them in supermarkets. I always buy mine from Sainsbury's. They're really really good. They remind me of, is it called shuttlecocks? No not shuttlecock. Shuttlefish? Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, that's the one. Reminds me of cuttlefish the way that they look. They're kind of like skips in that they melt in your mouth. So they're really good. They don't crumble. They don't make a mess. Baby can't really choke on them because they dissolve on their tongue. They're just really, really good weaning food. So they're suitable from six months. And I think we actually maybe started like five and a half months with him. You get two in a little pack. There are five packs in a box. I'll just pop one of these in my bag. And they're gluten-free, dairy-free, and there's like no artificial colours or flavours or preservatives or anything like that. So it's quite a healthy one as well. Okay, next up, Heinz Biscotti Biscuits. They're just little biscuits. You get the plain flavour. You also get chocolate. Um, and these ones are banana. I tend to either get plain or banana. But yeah, they're really good. They have no artificial colours, flavours or preservatives. These are for seven months plus. But again, I think Jensen was having them. Them from the beginning maybe not as early as five and a half months because they're a little bit harder so they don't kind of dissolve as quickly but yeah probably from around six six and a half months with these and he just loves them he eats them really really quickly now usually I'll have a pack like this in my changing bag with like a little like sealable clip thing on or I'll just pop two or three in a little pot and they're really really good go-to snacks right number three pouches I am a pouch mama I say this all the time the majority of meals that Jensen has are pouches and I, like, I feel guilty when I say it because I feel like it's lazy and it's not like the best option but the pouches that I go for are organic, they're healthy, they're nutritious, they're delicious, they're not like you know full of additives and sugars and salts. The main ones that I go for are Babies and Ella's Kitchen. I use Babies for their main meals because they're more like quinoa and vegetables and stuff like that. But for Ella's Kitchen, I like to get all the fruit ones, just as little snacks to pop in the bag, like pudding or between meals. Ella's Kitchen do the coloured ones, so they do the red one, the purple one, the green one, the white one, I think that might be all of them. Um, so the red one, for example, is strawberries, obviously, and then bananas, apples, raspberries, lemon juice, and no other nasty stuff. So it's 100% pure fruit, they're organic, like I said, nutritious, delicious, really, really nice. They're quite small. Jasper loves them as well, so you might see this in my toddler snack video as well. Yeah, Jensen, he can feed himself now. He could devour one of these in a matter of seconds. I don't even bother with a spoon anymore. But yeah, that's quite a nice one, just so that I know that he's gotten enough fruit in him for the day. And number four, Melty Sticks. These are quite a new one. I've only been using these for about two weeks now. However, we were using a smaller version four. So basically, these are like the Wopsit style crisps. And I think Organics do them, Ellis Kitchen might even do them as well, actually, I can't remember what brand we used to use, but they'd come in a bag of, like, 20, like, bigger than what's it's and healthier than what's it's, so the baby-friendly version. But I found that he was just, like, devouring them, and then he'd want another one, and another one, and another one. But when I saw these, I think they must be new, because I hadn't seen them before, um, but I might be wrong, let me know if I'm wrong. I just thought they were brilliant, because they are this size, I'll get one out, so what's that, like almost the size of my hand. Um, exactly the same as the small ones, but just longer. So it's easier for him to hold on to. It lasts a little bit longer, um, and it doesn't mean that I'm constantly giving him more. You get 10 in a pack, they're from seven months, and I wish that I'd seen these if they were around when he was seven months, because it's just a little bit easier. But yeah, again, these are organic and nutritious and delicious. These are tomato and basil flavor. So those. And finally, I don't have any in my hand, but I'm gonna insert some clips now fruit. Jensen absolutely loves fruit. He loves bananas, strawberries, raspberries, grapes, blueberries, melon, mango, all sorts. He absolutely loves it. Orange, he's probably not that fussed on. He loves raspberries. They're probably his absolute favourite. Apples, he loves to bite down on, but that's probably more for his teeth than the taste. So yeah, I always try and give him some fruit. 
Like with breakfast, if he's having cereal, like wheat bix then I'll maybe put some raspberries on top. If he's having toast, then I'll put some avocado on it. If he's having like a picnic -y lunch or something, then I'll give him some slices of banana, or he'll just sit there and eat a whole banana. He's quite gutty, he eats quite a lot. And yeah, he's a real big fruit eater. I am trying to get him more into veg because obviously I know that fruits have a lot of sugars. Um, so I do give him cucumber sticks and carrot sticks, but he's got a sweet tooth, he much prefers fruit. So those are my five go-to baby snacks. Just things that we kind of grab on the go. If we're at home, then I'm more likely to kind of make snacks from scratch. Well I hope you found this useful, please do stay tuned for my toddler video which I think I'm just going to film as soon as I finish filming this one. Do leave a comment below, let me know what your go-to baby snacks are because I would love to know, I'm always trying to find new ones because I just kind of pick up the same ones at the supermarket all the time. Don't forget to give this a big fat thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye!